No, it's very rare, but I've actually missed. You can actually see this next cutscene coming out with just Diddy Kong. Yeah, it's really weird how you had to set it up, though. Like, you had to play two player mode. Dunga yeah. has to die right here. Yeah, and you had to end it with Diddy. It's very, like, um. It's very rare that you're gonna have that happen, but. Hi. Later. So we just we got one last rocket battle sequence before the end, and this one is a vertical one. We only had we only had oh gay, <laughs> okay okay. We had one of these to the world seven boss, but yeah. Don't even want to see that cutscene of, of like looking up anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I don't remember. Right. I don't remember right. the level design in this. It's very short. I know that. Yeah. I also do know that every time we die, we have to do the section all over again. Oh really? Even at the bus? I believe so. Huh. Because you know, because we need to grab Diddy. Right. You ooh, they just ooh, could hey, not hey. get enough of the. Oh uh, damn it! Apple. Yeah, they yeah they got a lot of mileage out of these. I like how they're clearly homing in on you. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I bet he's right here. It's getting there. There's still a bit more. Oh! Don't pat out the time trial at all. Really careful! 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 Oh, and then there's this. Yeah. Damn it! I think that was also, the end. Yeah. Yes, Grabby's also right. This doesn't pan up the time trial at all. Yeah. The time trial failed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did he shoot the balloons for Pete's sake? <laughs> Wait, what? Why is Diddy not shooting the balloons? Uh. Yeah, he's focusing on holding on. <laughs> <laughs> Dead weight. <laughs> Like in the ah, uh, that one Disney movie. It's like light in the load. I, mean, I think it was like the like the rescuers or something like that. Oh damn ah! it! I forgot about that. Damn it! I was thinking of the Great Mouse Detective. Oh, that one is that is that the one for Rat again? Yes. Okay, then it's that one. Right, right, right. All right. I need to rewatch that. It's been forever. Yes. I watched it a few months back on Disney Plus. It it holds up. Nice. <laughs> nice. Wait, I like how the bananas are we're still going up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Part of the stage right here. <laughs> Pretty much. We're on the. We're really at the final boss right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. That felt. <laughs> okay. Sketch. That felt sketchy. Sketchy, and catchy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I, I honestly don't think the final boss itself is that hard. I found it was very hard the very in the first time, but then again, I was really young. Mm. It has it's been, been a while. A long time. It's been a long while since I fought this guy. Yeah. Here we go. Remember, get rid of his speed as soon as you get through the through this part right here. Yeah. Okay. No. Damn it! What? I, oh. I got I got like <laughs> uh, poked. Touch. It's like you just 
touch a spike in Mega Man, you just blow up. That reminds me, have you finished Mega Man 11? Uh, no. I haven't gone back to it since I lost my save. Well, you, you don't have that much to make up, you said, right? No, I only have two stages, but uh, I just haven't had the motivation. I will motivate you somehow. I'll get to it someday. Here, I, I know how. Woo! Woo! <laughs> you heard all that clapping, right? Yes. Okay, good. Then the joke was that all that was not for naught. I used to be really good at this the, uh, section, but I guess I lost my Come touch. On, I lost my touch, apparently. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Cutscene time. Yay. Back to CG. Yay, bananas for a couple hours. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't even look like that much. Oh, the budget for cutscenes came back. Yeah. The band's all here. Yep. You're just gonna let this happen, DK? Yeah, seriously. I am mean, just fascinated by what's going on at this point. Yeah. It's gonna make banana smoothies. Not, yeah. not wrong? Yeah. Ew. This is kind of what I was talking about, about the bananas having some weird magical properties. Like, I open up. <laughs> like what the heck? Wait a second. Like he, just, he just puked all over his underling. And yeah. turned him into hands. Yeah. Yes, yeah, good old Nintendo boss here. Yeah, I was, I was okay. expecting something a little more elaborate for that weird transformation sequence. Yeah. Um, he does. He does attack pretty quickly, so. Yeah, I, I yeah I could have remember how this guy fights. He he barely leaves his weak points open. I know that much. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he's quit. He's really quit. Oh god. That's one. They explode the bananas. Yeah, and those t those tiki's are dead now. Cause they've been destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Also, he puts the palm up sometimes. Yep. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. He this guy's really aggressive. Damn it. You can attack him while he's always doing that too, if you're careful. Yeah. Damn it. God, it's really hard yeah, to Yeah, how are you able to jump that? Uh, Damn good it. timing. Good timing. Yeah, I, I I used to be like really good at oh. Oh. Huh. What am I oh. What am I what am I thinking about? Maybe I think that's something else. Maybe the um time trial. I don't know. Maybe. Good luck doing this now! <laughs> oh! Damn it! <laughs> you might be better off, like, trying to roll and jump from there. Oh, I think I know what I'm thinking about. What? I used to restart this just to get Diddy. Oh! Damn it. Can you blame me? <laughs> Yeah. This guy, this guy is actually kind of hard. I yeah, I remember, I remember like plowing through this guy a lot faster. Kind of like that, I guess. Wait, did he just take one hit? Yeah, I took, I hit him at the start. Oh, it was just really quick. I didn't notice it. Yeah. Okay. Dude, where is that? I can just, bro. Well, I can just like jump, keep jumping on the hand when he does the. 
Okay. Good. Starting to get my group back. How do you grab that heart? Very precise. Woo! Yeah. There we go. Wow, good job. Okay, now we... Okay. Now... Yeah. Oh! Uh. No, I think this is yeah. free hits now. Now it's coming back to me. Yeah, that part I almost forgot about. The dive down, I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, damn it! Okay. Okay, I, I got it. I think I've got this now. No, technically, that is a good cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? Ten of you with Donkey Kong yeah. there alone, it is a new cutscene. <laughs> I suppose. It's, it's pretty much just the same cutscene, just without Diddy animations. Yeah, Donkey Kong doesn't look at Diddy where Diddy would, would be. Oh my god. god. Man, that, it, it kind of attacks quick. Oh sure, now you're not gonna drop a heart? Yeah, seriously. Also, that's what you do. Yeah. I used to be way better at avoiding that attack. You can't duck under it, right? Uh, maybe? Maybe not when his hands are flipped. Damn it. So I'm trying to get the hit in, Mr. Fung. Okay, thanks for the heart. Lol. I, I didn't know you could jump on his hand like that. I just carefully timed it. Yeah, that's what, that's what I've always done. It, it's, it? it's way easier doing it like that. background like look at that that is uh, yeah that is kind of funky looking well like the, the like like animals yeah what are those that's a tiki thing like that's, that's strange a... buffalo i don't know i never noticed that until dra now dra dragon <laughs> that is really strange do you know what do you see do you see it too scrappy in the background. I see some... I see it's something. like a buffalo. Like a uh, goat. Yeah, there's like a, there's like a goat. Not a goat, like a antelope or something. That's actually kind of cool. I never noticed that until now. Yeah, I was just focused on the boss fight. Yeah. Now, this guy's just a Koopa Clown car. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this should be the last hit. Well, I think he's gonna start doing the fire rain. Yeah. Oh, okay. He does send out enemies at some point. Yeah. There. Okay. Heart, burning heart. A burn. <laughs> heart. heart burn, if you will. Uh, uh. <laughs> Go! Uh, oh my god, that's... That, you had like no time for that. Oh, this part. I think you need to blow out the fire heart, actually. Or oh, just wait, oh. I guess. Oh, okay. Get the fire heart. I'm not gonna. Okay. Mmm. Dive? Come on. He's not oh. gonna go down, Eddie. Oh! He's just not... okay. Come on, do it. Do it, you coward. Go! Damn it. Uh. It was not even a lot of I remember him being. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember him being this hard. It might be time. Maybe. It has been a while. Oh, it, you know what it is? It's just that he leaves his weak points open for so for so little. Yeah. Oh god. I mean, he's playing. It, I mean, he's playing it smart. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would do too, if anything. Try to get my make. Try to make sure my weak points don't stay out long. Yeah. I'm afraid about that attack because I'm afraid that like, if you get on his hand, he's just gonna. 
crush you in his grip. Yeah, that would stand to reason. Oh, good heart. Thank you. My bananas! <laughs> Okay. I feel like just a tap jump m n no. I mean, maybe he's better staying off to the right side of the room. Oh, w wait, what? Oh. He what? faked you out. Oh. Wait, he's gonna do it again! I didn't know that was a thing. That was actually kind of clever. <laughs> hmm. Alright, here we go. Alright, first hit. Since now we're attacking him directly. Yeah. Now he's going straight into <laughs> he's got the fight well at least you recovered. Damn it. Here comes the next attack. Go! Alright. Oh, one more hit, one more hit. Duck. Oh, that was a lame duff. Death by death by flyby. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. At least I didn't. Oh. At least I didn't get. Hit. I was like, yeah, right, yeah, right. I was like, uh, I was like, okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no. <laughs> good thing. <laughs> good thing he like delays that so much. Yeah, right. I could. Well, I could sort of tell when he's looking at two hands. Yeah. Yeah, his attacks are telegraphed, so I I appreciate that much. I just noticed how his head looks particularly like a crown. Hmm. Yeah, Ooh. kind. Yeah. Two. Oof. Down the left side of the room. Oh! Uh, damn it! No! Get out of there! Damn it! Stay on the left side of the room. Is the uh, a reason for that? Okay, oh. first of all, it does grip because uh, if he does that again, you can just jump on it right there. Of course, there's that. Was there a reason he, to be on the left though? When he when he does the hand swipe, it, 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 and you can just easily land on where it, where it's ending. Mm. Like, because like the the left like his hand always goes to the opposite side of the room for where it starts. Mm. Like you can go to the left right now, but just don't go hug the left. Like, watch what he's gonna do. Like, you gotta watch his hand carefully and see if it's up, if it's a up grip or a down grip. Oh. Well, you see what I mean? You see what I'm trying to get at, right? Uh. Not really. Okay, your way. My way. Oh, what? Sorry. Okay, it's more specifically when he does the choom, like the hands go left, right, like both hands, like where it's flat down. Hmm. Because the idea is like when it gets to the other side of the room, you'll be right there to land on it. Yes, but your way is probably better. Yeah, it doesn't That's seem to it. be. It doesn't really seem to be doing anything different. And then there's that. <laughs> Wait, are you talking? Are you talking about when he has his hands on the sides? When he does, and he when he does that. Oh. Yeah, when he, when his hand goes the opposite side of the room, the point is to catch it when it's going to the other side. Oh, okay. Okay. But then again, but you gotta anticipate when he's doing the up grip. Like when he's in the crushing grip. Yeah. See, because that one always goes to the opposite side. Right. But then you gotta remember this. Yeah. But maybe your way is safer. Damn it. No. I messed up the roll. Tiki, lol. <laughs> Did you see Donkey Kong on the floor a couple hun uh, hundred times? Get dunked on. <laughs> I, you know, in a way, I kind of appreciate his slightly randomized pattern. Um. I mean, it's kind of fitting for a final boss. It's kind of random, but it's also, it's also, it's also like, I noticed it's like a general pattern. I wonder how long that heart's gonna be bouncing. Not long. Oh, oh what the oh. heck? Oh, you got, you got, you got, you got it. Nice. 
I saw it fading out of existence. Yeah, he seems to yeah. follow with the same pattern of attacks generally. I mean, giving his mouth, which is separated from his, giving his jaw, which is separated from his top, is uh, perfectly, perfectly uh, staying on. Yeah. Kind of sad. I'm not gonna get the ending with Diddy, but. Yeah, because the ending with Diddy is like because they work together. It's oh, like, he did oh. the he did the thing again. Ha ha ha! Bye. Oh, what the heck was that? I yeah, because I kind of I like the did di the one with both uh, Kongs. My favorite one actually is Diddy by himself. <laughs> that is amusing. We're like yeah, we'll we'll say it when we get to it. Yeah. Oh. Get out. Yeah. Okay. Well, now you gotta hope for a heart. Go! Oh. Okay. Thank you. Give Again. me a- Give me a heart, please. That'll be nice. Well, here's your chance! Alright. Uh, uh, uh. You got it, you got it, you got it. Kay. Wait, is he doing a slam? Get ready. Get ready for the jet no. Damn it. Oh. Okay. He's doing it again. There! Yeah! Okay, we're going. Well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> At least it transitions into this pretty seamlessly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I want to point out he's strong enough to do this. Yeah. Neutral B, let's go! <laughs> it's, just, it's just a giant golf ball. Man, the move is tiny. Destroy the whole yeah. island. Yeah! Wait. Th this is what we were trying- <laughs> This is what we were trying not to do in Majora's Mask. This. Some very, very cartoony looking animals. I, I like the I, I like the idea that they, they turn back to normal because bananas dropped on their heads. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. If Diddy wins this fight alone, he uh he when he goes up high he freaks out trying to activate his jetpack, but he just ends up uh, losing control. It slams his head into the moon. Which is apparently strong enough to send it <laughs> into the volcano. Finally yeah, finally safe from the bitter cold outside, the girl let out, let out a sigh that she didn't know she held. She rubbed her numbed hands together. A quiet had overtaken her a quiet had overtaken her room after after those hectic moments. And she closed her eyes, trying to savor it as best as she beep 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 beep. beep, 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 beep. I like that she has two alarm clocks. I have two alarm clocks. <laughs> I like that they- Actually, no, I've set multiple alarms for different times of the day because sometimes I'll wake up but not really be awake. So I have backup alarms and my family calls me a psychopath for it. <sighs> oh, dear. Umi shot a few inches into the air at the piercing sound. A noise less than a shriek, but more than a yelp escaping her. She flushed immediately, even though there was no one around, and glared at her alarm clock. The fact that she was already awake made her feel somewhat ashamed in forgetting to turn it off, and she vented her disappointment by yanking its cord, cord from the socket instead of turning it off the normal way. <laughs> Charming. Ag excuse me. Agitated by her multiple failures from last night and this morning, the girl stood in front of the mirror, holding bunches of un holding bunches of unruly blue hair in both of her hands. I like that, it's fine. Marika hummed, more to herself than to Umi, as she took the paper. While Marika looked over her paper, silence silence finally settled between the two girls, with nothing else to do, Umi's eyes wandered back to the button on Marika's bag. Her own face, 
three years younger, but still much the same, beams back at her, along with the eight other girls she had considered she had considered considered her dearest friend. Happy as it happy as the depiction was, staring at it only dredged up unpleasant memories towards the unraveling of Mew of Muse and what happened after that. Umi shook her head lightly and forced her thoughts elsewhere. A more recent time when she met the girl sitting next to her. Oh boy, it's a flashback. <clears throat> Umi hadn't ex Umi hadn't expecting. Umi hadn't, hadn't been, been expecting. Hadn't been. It should be hadn't been. Yeah. Umi hadn't been expecting anyone to recognize her upon entering college. She was going on her second year away from Muse, and the people who recognized her on the, sa on the street were only decreasing with time. She had been on campus for about a month, and she hadn't seen any knowing glances sent her way or, whisper or whispers quiet as a jet engine behind her back. Then she had been sitting alone in her first college writing class when something shiny, when something shiny slid onto her paper. It was that same Muse button. Her eyes widened in surprise. And she whirled around. She whirled around in her seat to meet a tall girl sporting a wide grin. Those words would have stung if they weren't true. Dang. Oh. Yes. So could you please not mention this to anyone else? Not even to my friends. If one other person finds out, everyone will find out. Umi gave her a pointed look. She was surprised to see Marika's grin turn mischievous. <laughs> That's the great Sedona San. Sedona San wants me to share a secret with her. That's not so bad either. <clears throat> Umi wanted to roll her eyes, but she restrained herself. Is that an agreement? Your secret's safe with me. Marika emphasized her point with a hearty. Ugh, Marika emphasized her point with a with a hearty slap on Umi's back. She jumped at the contact, more out of surprise than pain, and flashback. As it had turned out, keeping Marika silent about her former, former idol status was a better move than she had anticipated. The girl seemed to have friends in every department. Umi would see her across, camp across campus in the most surprising places. Surprising places. Chatting with anyone from sports teams to soror sororities. We've had wide of a circle that she had it was a stroke of luck that she kept her word not one other not one other person had approached umi with the glittering hungry eyes of a fan on the other hand her social butterfly status meant that she only had time for umi inside the lecture hall look i'm sure you know what i'm about to tell you so i don't take pleasure in it he folded his hands on his desk he looked too professional umi nodded Ugh. umi nodded letting him continue I know you can write better than this. You know you can write better than this. I recognized your name when you signed up for this class. In all our meetings, one of, one of the first year's TAs always talked about how one of her students had this gift for understanding poetry. She said that her student had such an amazing grasp on the poet's emotions, like she could feel those emotions the same way those poets did, exactly as they described it. His voice rose steadily as he went on until he was his voice rose steadily as he went on until he was practically shouting filling up the otherwise empty room clearing his throat satoshi continued oh gosh clearing his throat satoshi continued with a more calm demeanor did you ever receive feedback of that nature sonata san umi nodded although a frown creased her face I never understood what she meant by that exactly. But you get the idea, right? You have a talent, Sonata-san. Satoshi answered his own question. Satoshi answered his own question. People like you who have such a firm grasp on the emotions that lay within an arrangement of words, especially in the intricate art and form of poetry, can go on to achieve great things. Maybe students will read about you in a textbook years from now. But I don't want to be read about in a textbook. You can write better than this. You have so much potential. Why aren't you trying harder? I'm just imagining him whispering this right next to her while she's walking. 
he's he's like intentionally doing the echo effects himself. And then like one of them is just something completely unrelated, like do you want to go should I go to Chipotle later for lunch? Lunch, lunch. <laughs> It took many different forms, but Umi always heard the same thing. She wasn't living up to her potential. She hated that word. She hated it because she was trying, and she knew that she could do better than she was. She wanted to say that she had used up all of her inspiration already, used it all three years ago to pursue a dream that she truly believed to be within reach. Back then, it certainly seemed, it certainly seemed within reach. Now... Now she stood in front of the door to her apartment. Gods, when did I become so depressing? Her old self would have told her that there was a way out of this, and that the way out demanded hard work and a strong mind. Well, welcome to college, Umi. Yeah, no. God, when did I become so depressing? Uh, this is what Reddit would call a mood. Hashtag me IRL. <laughs> 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 But she had left her old self at home before she left for university. She only had one of those traits now. Her writing classes, excuse me, her writing classes had failed to bring any sort of inspiration back thus far. Umi refused to consider what would happen if this was the norm from now on, since she already knew. I, I don't think that's going to come out well on, on playback. Let me re let me reread that. Umi refused to consider what would happen if. This was the norm from now on, since she already knew. She's staying up late doing homework. Umi mused aloud. Homework or otherwise, she was ultimately greeted with an automated voice after the Ugh. She was ultimately greeted with an automated voice after the fourth ring. That was probably a good thing. She chastised herself for thinking. Oh gosh. She chastised herself for thinking that Maki or anyone expected a call at three in the morning. With her head finally on straight, Umi took another look at the com oh my gosh. With her head finally on straight, Umi took another took another look at the completed completed lyrics on her desk. It was less than twenty lines, less than a full page long, but it was a start, and it made her heart throb of happiness. She was ready to she was ready to, She was ready to take it further farther. To go through the to go through the process one more time, but it could wait another day or two to start. She suppose she supposed. Holy crap! <laughs> the professor was in the middle of a lecture on Coleridge when Umi's phone went off. Luckily, she was sitting in the back as she always did, so she only had to endure the half curious, half judgmental stares from her from her classmates for a couple seconds before she made it outside. She ignored the chill of the outside air as her hand as her hand probed her pants pocket, fishing out her phone after a moment. She peered at the contract contact name as it came into focus. Nishikino Maki. Her heart leapt and she hurried to press the answer part of her screen. Maki, what is it? Tanner. No, it's no fun. <laughs> I don't think I'm in the rest of this. Maki, no, no you're, you're you're Maki Nova. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll have several episodes of material with this alone. Yes, oh, yeah, it, as, yeah, yeah, because this is a long one. It's the longest one we've done so far by a long shot. Uh, so, well, when you guys like, uh, uh, have like a have your moment to breathe like any general thoughts so far or whatever this hits way too close to home and makes me not miss college <laughs> yeah oh, you vape. it's the one syllable words that are that are that are the worst yeah. Huh. 
Ah, oh dear. Did it. All right. So, my thoughts are that I, for me not knowing much, I generally understood what was going on. That's good. And was and generally enjoyed it. Okay. Um I was U Umi in particular, I was I was very invested in. I don't know how she is canonically, but I was very invested in her here and found her mostly her struggles with writing and her struggles in college very relatable. Yeah. I connected with that. So, I can imagine this. I imagine it's more appealing to someone who is familiar with the series. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll give you that. But uh, it's definitely... Uh, I mean, since this series is made for um, stories that we think are legitimately good, I, I did try and go out of my way to find something that I thought was well-written. And uh, just going through this, reading through the story for myself the first time, um, I was actually surprised how well done it was, so, um, you know. Yeah, and even though I don't know uh, much about it, I, uh, I was genuinely, I generally, I don't know how much of this is reflective of canon, but at least here I got a good feel for what these characters and their personalities were. I'd, I'd say it's, pr it's pretty um, spot on, overall. I'd like that a lot. I mean, there are, there are some... I mean, like, I do like I do like Dark Moon King, Dark Moo King Boo is another thing. What are the characters that they've added? Because I remember like there was a couple... Uh, Dark Moon King, King Boo from Dark Moon specifically, from like Luigi's Mansion more specifically. Oh yeah. They got Pauline. The more, like, the darker eyes. Yeah, creepy King Boo. They yeah. got um, yeah, they got Pauline. Diddy Kong's back. I think is Birdo back yet? I think. Dixie um, Kong and Funky Kong are there. Oh yeah. I like I like the I like the costumes too. You know, I always found it really odd you know? that Birdo was like on a banner in Mario Kart and she just wasn't in the game. Oh. Vanilla Mario Kart 8's roster is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. <gasps> Palmy honestly wants to say that we had the best roster. Uh, I mean, until Tor came out, yeah, I'd say either Mario Kart or Wii or, like, Double Dash. Yeah, and Double Dash was pretty, like, well-rounded. Yeah, Double Dash was the last time we didn't go full-on in babies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go whole hog with the baby characters is what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I made it a secret. Yay. Well, yes. I just had to remember to take Cranky here. <laughs> yeah, um, Mario Kart Tour is a pretty bang up roster. It's just that costumes for other characters are take up their own slots. Mm. And after Crash Team Racing, I am spoiled and would prefer they just be made alts. That would be nice, yeah. I feel like people wouldn't mind as much if they did that. Like that, it's kind of what I feel about like metal, like metal costumes and whatnot. Um, like if it was just, or like all the coop, all the couplings were just one character in the costumes, like Bowser Jr. and Smash. I feel like people would be more um, okay with it. 
a couple of things had to be their proportions had to be a mess with in Smash Bros. for that to work. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. And they're hiding in a clown car. Like, have you seen Lemmy outside the clown car? He looks like a monkey skinned him and is wearing his skin. <laughs> yeah, they had they had to. Okay, I just kind of sh Shrek the bus that time. All right. Did you win? Yeah. Did you, get, did you get the gold? Yeah, I beat him in with like thirty seconds to spare. Okay, maybe not did that, get, not that much, like tw twenty seconds, but still. Did you get sparkling gold? Yes. But then Do Donkey Kong grabs him out of the air before he crashes. Yeah. Oh, this is actually the DKC one credits. One, yeah, with DKC one credits. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. Well, it starts off that way. Oh, yeah. Just did he? I just realized I haven't had sound on for this game in hours. Oh, what? <laughs> you didn't hear the sound? No, it's just not playing for me. Oh. Well, there should be an audio thing on the stream if you look for it. Uh, it's not muted, it's just not playing for me. Oh. Oh, I've been hearing, I've been hearing all the sound the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter to it doesn't matter. Um Unless I wanted to hear the music. I don't know if it's the final thoughts time though. Um I mean like it's just it's just a secret level after this. And we're probably gonna be focusing on that. Um You go I'm curious about Scrappy because this is the first I assume this is the first time you're seeing like the the full game. I'm kinda curious on how you uh, what you thought about this game um, compared to the trilogy. Honestly, I think this... I would... Hmm. If we're talking just about beating the levels and not going for every hidden knickknack, I'd say this might be harder than at least one of the, one of the Super NES games, at least from my view. Hmm. Like, um, to put, what am I trying to say? From what I can see, it seems like a a very faithful but modernized take on Rare's games, and I appreciate that retro looks like they tried to at least provide some quality of life improvements to the old country games. What little music I heard was good. It <laughs> looks pretty. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. And I, for some reason, had no commentary of war of note to, to provide it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I. Oh, you got you got you got anything else? Um. Bring back Cutlass. Oh, Cutlass! Oh my god. Um... Reggie! I suppose, as for, as for me, um, I like this game a lot, um, more so than y uh, you could probably tell from this playthrough. Um, cause, if I'll be, if I'll be frank, um, this playthrough is probably one of the weaker ones we've done, just for the fact that the commentary was just kind of non-existent <laughs> like uh, everywhere and nowhere yeah it, it didn't no. yeah yeah so i, I kind of apologize I for that asleep. this that's amusing um so for for uh before i talk more is there going to be a thing yep meanwhile by sheer coincidence yeah. Look at all these bruised bananas. <laughs> it's Link. It's, it's Young Link's full combo. <laughs> Dude, that looks like a set piece from DK64. Just saying. What? At, what uh, from Aztec Ruin? Yeah. Or sorry, Angry Aztec. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like. And it just boosts you to the. Okay. Should we check out the menu here? 
Uh, we we may as well just look at the uh, puzzle piece unlocks while we're doing this. Um, Any more things to say, Scrappy? I don't know. I just had a lack of energy in this playthrough, and I don't know why. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't really know why either, because, like, there's... I don't know, because, like, an outsider looking in on this may, be, may think that we aren't too crazy on this game, and while I don't... while I... I, I, I stand... I, I'll stand by the... Tropical Freeze is a way better game. I don't think this. I don't think this game is any slouch either. Um, and our commentary didn't really show that a lot, so I don't know. Yeah. What is that last? Oh, probably Gold Banana World. <laughs> probably. For oh. those of you who have seen seen our um, commentary on New Super Mario Brothers Wii. This is, I guess, a, a similar case where we actually do like the game more than our commentary would let on. Yeah. It's fair to play, but it is a watch. Oh, well, that's cute. Aww. Possibly. <laughs> Family portrait, except, you know, without any of DK's other cousins or Dixie's Diddy's girlfriend. Yeah. Or, you know, Donkey right, Kong's oh, girlfriend. Oh, this is all, oh, this is all, oh, wow, that's a, that's a very, very Rambi. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Family yeah. portrait. Except all the family is gone. <laughs> How far back are you? <laughs> yeah. You'll fight. Huh. Well, it's surrounding a lighthouse. And the tracks. Probably just like these are, these might be some like old levels. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> the best enemy. Whoa. Oh yeah, that that's just basically the DKC one stages. Yeah, it's just straight out town. It huh. just looks like the Ewok village from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, pretty much. That, that's pretty much what it looks like in TKC One as well. Old school. Hey, look, look at the a, bottom. There's, there's a, a game, game and watch. <laughs> I wonder if these were all like cut levels. Angry banana. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, and monuments. Okay, that's cool. That's a weird Rambi ass design. Yeah. Let me, let me try it over. <laughs> Bird and Bob. Did you just say weird Rambi ass design? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> oh, let's see what it says. Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys are. Randy. Oh. Is there anything behind it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why is Rambi here? <laughs> the law is flowing, for the record. Oh. Huh. That's cool. Is there anything you know, behind it? No. no. I'm right. surprised Rambi was never used for any boss fight. That would have been interesting. Um, Did he use his pop gun? Yeah, he is. Ah, I, I wish there was a better way to like move this around. Hmm. Like, I can't... Like, I, I, w I keep wanting to like do that thing with like the trophies in Smash where, like, where you like move the position like, of the... It? You like you move the position of the camera, but you don't move the actual trophy. Oh yeah, I love doing that with like the wave racer trophy to get like it going off screen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go finish World Nine. I guess we can talk about. I guess I. I guess we, we can keep talking while it's going. I suppose. Um, I. I guess to talk about. We. I, I, well, there's a cutscene coming up, so I guess we'll just do that first. <laughs>